Hey there everyone, fantastic news, FSR3 mod just got a fresh update. This version tackles various issues, focusing on enhancing the Starfield game experience. Join me as I guide you through the quick install process and showcase how it amps up the game's performance. Ready to level up your gaming? Let's dive right in. If you're unsure about downloading the FSR3 frame generation mod for your PC, check out this video where I walk you through the entire process, explaining every step in detail. Let's make it easy for you. Here are the essential folders containing the files required for mod installation. Be sure to check the accompanying text file for clarification on any queries. The guide within can resolve many issues, so don't skip it. Within it, discover comprehensive step-by-step -step instructions for flawless installation, eliminating errors. Benefit from specific tips designed to steer you clear of crashes and compatibility issues. Step one. Copy the files from the FSR2 FSR3 common folder and paste them into the directory where your game's executable is located. In this walkthrough, I'll guide you through the process of installing the mod specifically for the Starfield game. Let's get started. Step 2. Navigate to the contents of the generic FSR folder and select the specific FSR type corresponding to your game. Each folder encompasses the essential files for FSR versions 2.0 to 2.2. For Starfield, the applicable version is 2.2. Everything ready? Mod installed? Now just start the game. Let me provide you with a glimpse into the current performance of the game without the FSR3 mod frame generation on my aging GTX 1660 Ti. Unfortunately, the gameplay experience is marred by suboptimal conditions, featuring a consistently low frame rate leading to high latency. Additionally, numerous small stutters disrupt the fluidity of the game, making it challenging to enjoy a seamless and immersive gaming experience. Stay tuned as we explore how the FSR3 mod can transform and enhance this gameplay, addressing these performance issues for a smoother and more enjoyable gaming session on the GTX 1660 Ti. Get ready for a transformative demonstration. I'm about to showcase the remarkable performance boost achieved in the Starfield game with the application of the mod. Brace yourself for a nearly doubled frame rate, resulting in an incredibly responsive and fluid gaming experience. Say goodbye to stuttering. My game is now impeccably smooth. This tutorial not only unlocks the potential of Starfield, but also empowers you to apply the mod to various games, revolutionizing your entire gaming experience. If you've enjoyed witnessing this game-changing improvement, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for upcoming releases and exciting content. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and drop a comment if you have any questions or thoughts. Your engagement is highly appreciated. See you in the next video as we explore more ways to elevate your gaming adventure. Modern city with walls. Hmm. Quite a throwback, wouldn't you agree? I guess I'm not used to having the tube out. But it's nothing that would keep me from getting back out there. The place in broad daylight? Seems that way. That's pretty crazy, even by Shawgang standards. Don't be causing trouble now. Nobody ever accused those boys of having an overabundance of common sense. Ain't that the truth? <laughs>